let's go over how to find a p-value from a z-test statistic. Fred was testing the null hypothesis that the population proportion p is 0.5, versus the alternative hypothesis that the population proportion is not equal to 0.5. His sample had A observations, and his test statistic was Z equals 1.83. Assuming the conditions for inference were met, so we can proceed with a hypothesis test, what is the approximate p-value for Fred's test? This problem is nice enough to give us the test statistic, but if you had to calculate it on your own, this would be the formula. p-hat, our sample proportion, which we're not given in this problem, minus the assumed population proportion, from the null, in this case that would be 0.5, and then divide by the assumed standard deviation, so p0 times 1 minus p0, divided by the sample size, which in this case is 8, all in a square root. Here is a sketch of a normal distribution, which will help us represent what we're actually doing, so it's clear how we're calculating the p-value. We are assuming that the null hypothesis is true, that the population proportion is 0.5, so that would be right here in the middle of the normal distribution. Now, we had a test statistic of 1.83, and remember, our alternative hypothesis we're testing is that p is different from 0.5. So we want to consider the area on the normal curve that is at least 1.83 standard deviations away from the mean, both in the positive direction and in the negative direction. Again, this is plus 1.83 standard deviations, and this is minus 1.83, and this is coming from our test statistic. So we're wondering, what's the probability that we would get a sample proportion this extreme, either in the positive direction or in the negative direction? We need to consider both directions because the alternative hypothesis is just that p is different from 0.5. If the alternative hypothesis was that p is greater than 0.5, we only be interested in the upper tail. Now, looking at the picture, how are we going to use the z-table to find these two areas? Well, the z-score table gives us left tail probabilities, so if we just look up negative 1.83 in the table, we will get this area. And then, because the normal distribution is symmetric, we can just double it to get this area as well. And if you only have a positive z-score table, then you can look up positive 1.83, which will give you this area, and just take the complement of that to get the tail, and then again, double the tail. We'll actually do it that way. So I'm going to look at my table and look for positive 1.83, because all I have in this table are positive values. Here's 1.8, 1.80, 1.81, 2, and 3. That's right here. So the complement of this is going to be this upper tail. So this area, the complement, it's going to be 1 minus 0.96638. And of course, that's equal to 0 0.03362. If you had a negative z-score table as well, and you looked up negative 1.83, this is what you would find. Finally, we're not done. We're doing a two-tail test, so we have to double this value. Thus, our final p-value is about 0.06724. Fred's conclusion for this test would probably be that there is not strong enough evidence to reject the null. If he was using a pretty weak significance level, like alpha equals 10%, then he would reject the null, because this is less than 10%, but usually 5% is a more common benchmark. So we might say there's not convincing evidence here to reject the null hypothesis. That's how you find a p-value from a z-test statistic. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my stats course and stats exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus, I'm the V to the T, my parameter the rapidest, happens like this, my lectures the most prominent, dominant, call me the Morgan, I get the compliments, the union in together like any time that we intersect.